Hello everybody, it's Kindergarten Sight Word time with Miss Hoagland. I hope you guys are doing good at home. I've been missing you so very much. I'm going to give you some sight words today and the goal when we get done is that I would love to see you write these words at the end and send me a picture with your name on it. Oh my goodness, that would make my heart so happy. Alright friends, here we go. All right, the very first thing that we need to make sure that we know with sight words is that we know all of our vowels. Our vowels are going to be A, E, I, O, and U, and most of the time, Y. Anytime we see one of these letters, we're going to put a dot underneath it. And then we're going to circle it. We're going to put a dot under any E's that we see. And we're going to circle it. We're going to put a dot under any I's that we see. And we're going to circle it. A dot under any O that we see. And circle it. A dot under any U's that we see. And circle it. And finally, we're only going to put a dot under a Y. If it's not at the beginning of a word, if it's not at the beginning of a word, okay? That one has, cannot be at the beginning. All right, our very first word. What we're going to do is Miss Hoagland is going to say a word. Are you ready? I'm going to say a word. Then you're going to say it, and then we're going to sound it out with our fingers, okay? Our first word is and. Ready? Say the word and. Good job, and. Okay, now let's use our fingers to sound out how many sounds are in the word and. A, N, D. Did you get three? Let's try again. A, N, D, and. So we're going to make three lines. A, N, D. So the word and has three sounds in it. What is the first sound in and? And. We get ants on our arms. Where is that? Ah, ah, ah. You're right. It's an A. Guess what? Oh, there's one of our letter, one of our dots up there. We're going to put a dot underneath it and we're going to circle it. Okay, so we got ah. What's the next sound in and? And mm, airplane. Mm, good job. Mm, and what's the last sound in and? D, d, d. D, 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 d. We're going to make a C before the D. So what letter is that? D. Ah, n, d. Those are the sounds. Ah, n, d. Now let's put all those sounds together and make a word. Ah, n, d. Notice how they're all nice and close together. And. Ah, n, d. Sounds. Word. And. Good job. That was our first word, everybody. Let's go. Our second word for this time is going to be the word with. Say the word with. With. How many sounds are in with? Let's count with our fingers. Sound it out. With. Let's see if you can do it. With. Okay, I'm going to try it with you. Hopefully you get this many. What? I. Th. How many sounds in with? Let's try it again. Wa, I, th, with. Good job. Three sounds, three lines. Wa, I, th. I'm going to make that last line a little longer because I know that that sound is made by two letters. Ready? Let's sound it out again. With. Who says wa, 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 wa? W. The next one is with. Wha, eh, eh, eh. Who says eh, 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 eh? Oh, I'm so itchy. Who says eh? I good. Oh, that's one of our vowels up there. We're gonna dot it. We're gonna put a circle around it. Wha, eh. And what's the last sound? <laughs> my tongue is out my out of my mouth, and I'm just blowing air. You shouldn't feel anything in your throat. There's no voice in your throat on. This is the T, T letter T H that says th. All right, let's say this again. Wh, I, th. What is our word? 
with, let's write it over here, because here we just have sounds. With. Now we're going to write the word with. Notice how all my letters are separated a little, but they're not this far apart over here. We got and and with. Good job, you made it through two words. Let's go to number three, let's go. The third word is going to be but. But I wanna play a little bit longer, but. Say the word but, but, okay? Now, use your fingers. How many sounds are in the word but? Let's sound it out, b, uh, how many sounds did you get? Three. B. Uh. T. How many sounds? Three. Good job, friends. Oops. Miss Hoglamess got a little ahead of herself. B. Uh. T. How many sounds? B. Uh. T. Three sounds. Here we go. What's the first sound? B. 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 That's that B. We'll get back to that B right there. B. And then who says the uh sound? Uh, 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 uh. The U. Oh, that's another vowel up there. We're going to dot it. Then we're going to circle it. B, uh, t. Who's the last sound? T, t, t. Who makes that t, t, t sound? Good job, friends. It is a T. Here you go. These are the sounds. B, uh, t. Now we're going to write the word. Ready? B. Uh. T. But. But I want to play a little bit longer. But can we do another lesson? Absolutely, my friends. Word number four. We had and, with, but. The next word, number four, is going to be on. Say the word on. On. How many sounds in on? You try it with your fingers. On. Ah. Mmm. How many sounds in on? Ah. Mmm. Two sounds. Good job. How many lines do we need? Two. You're getting so good at this. Ready? Our first sound is what? Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Guess what? It's up there. I see it up there. Ah. And we're going to circle it. Ah, and then what's our next sound? Mmm, on. Ah, mmm. Ready to put it together? Here we go. We're going to put it together. Ah, mmm is what word? On. I like to swing on the playground. On. Good job, friends. So we got ah. Sorry, and, with, but, and on. And I'm going to do something here to help my kindergartners. Because my kindergarten friends always know that our vowels are always red. Right? When we do our ready position, our vowels are always going to be red. That way we know. You're going to notice something here. So we had an A, E, I, O, U. And why when it's not at the beginning of a syllable? Why? So where do we have the word? And here's our vowel. See another vowel on this one right here. The I it says I. The U says what? Uh. Is that what you said? I hope so. An O, which says what? Ah, ah, good job. You're working really hard today. All right, you ready for word number five? Here we go, word number five. Make my five. Okay, here we go. Our next word is will, will. Are you ready? Say will, will. Now, how many sounds are in will? Count them on your fingers. Let's see if you can get the same number I get. Okay, ready? Wuh, I, L. How many sounds? Wuh, I, L. Three sounds. Good job. Three lines. Wuh, I, L. You ready? Wuh, I, L. Three 
Ready? Who says the woo, 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 woo sound? W. Who says the eh, 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 woo, eh, boo? Who says the eh, eh, eh sound? And what itchy, eh, eh, eh? An I. You got it. But guess what? We're going to put a dot underneath it because it's a vowel up here. And we're going to circle it. And what is our last sound in the word wo? Eh, ooh. Who says licking lollipops? Ooh. This one is kind of tricky. It has two L's in it, but we're not going to sound out both L's. If it has a short vowel in it, for moms and dads, and it's followed by an F, L, S, or Z, then we double that at, we double that consonant at the end. But so it's gonna be wo, i, u. What is that word? What word is it? Tell me what word it is. Wo, i, u. Let's put it together. Wo, i, u. Will, will you take a picture and send this to me? Send this to me. Send this to me. All right, here we go. Oh, what else should I do? What letter do I need to color? What letter do I need to color? Any of these letters up here in A, E, I, O, U, or Y, not at the beginning. Yes, we have an I, you're absolutely correct. And you don't have to color these if you don't want. You don't have to color them, it's just kind of fun. All right, here we go, next one is that. Everybody ready for the word that? Word number six. Word number six. All right, word number six is that. Say the word that for me. That. How many sounds in that? Th at. Did you get three? I hope so. Th at. All right, how many sounds did we get? We got three, so we're going to draw three lines. Th at. Th at. That sounds like that. Remember up here how we had TH that says th? Well, here we're going to have TH that says th. This is the one where you put your finger on your throat, put your finger on your throat, put your stick your tongue out of your mouth, and, and say th that. You feel it in your throat? Th. That means it's voiced. We're going to put a little V over that one because it's voiced. Okay, we can hear the voice. This one right here, in with, put your finger on your throat again. Go with, it's just air coming out. There's no voice on this one right here, but there is a voice on this one because you hear that vibrate in your throat. And we've talked about that. Th at, what's the next letter in that? Th at, say ants on the arm. Ah, oh, that's one of our vowels. Ah, circle it. Mm. Ah, and then what's the last sound in that? Last sound? Good job. It is a T. You are so smart. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna put those sounds together. Ready? Mm, at. Mm, at. That, that is perfect, my friends, perfect. The next word that we're gonna do, we only got a couple more words here, all right, is up, up. What do you do when you get out of your chair? You stand down, no, you stand up, 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 up. Here we go, say the word up. How many sounds in the word up? Uh, p. Is that what you got? Uh, p. I got two sounds in the word up. Here we go. Uh, p. Uh, p. Who says the first sound? Uh, 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 up goes the umbrellas. You. Good job. Oh, guess what? It's up there. So we're going to put a dot underneath it. And we're going to circle it. Uh, p. Who says p, p, puffing out the candles? P, p, p. P, 
Good job. P. A. Uh, P. What is that word? Put it together. Up. Uh, what is that word? Up. These are words that you can sound out. I'll, oh, guess what I forgot to do? Tell me what I forgot to do. Red pencil alert. Red pencil alert. I need to color the vowels, the A, E, I, O, and U, and Y, not at the beginning of a syllable. Everybody coloring that Y, that U right there? Colored in it. Notice I'm trying to stay in the line the best I can. Not perfect, but I got a lot of years of practice. All right, we have just four more words, friends. Please stick with me. Four more words. I know you can do it, okay? Four more words. So we had and with, but, on, will, that, up. Are you ready for the next page? Here we go. Guess what? I'm going to do something. I got a really good idea. Oh, just going to have to move it to the next page, I guess. Help me with those vowels again, friends. Help me with my vowels. What were they again? An A, an E, an I, an O, a U, and a Y that's not at the beginning of the syllable. So we dot them and circle them. Dot the E, circle it, dot the I, circle it, dot the O, circle it, dot the U, circle it, and dot the Y if it's not at the beginning of the syllable and circle it. And then what color are we going to color those boys and girls? We're going to color them red because all of our vowels are in red. E. What is this one? Tell me what this one is right here. What is this one? What letter is that? It is an I. Do you know what an I says? I, 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 I. What letter is this one? O, what does O say? Ah, 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 And a, what? What letter? U. Good job, friends. A U. Okay, a U. And the last one is a, what letter? Y. Look how good you're getting. You're getting so good. Just a little bit of practice. All right, here we go. Word number eight. Word number eight. Are you ready for word number eight, friends? I'm going to make an eight over here. Word number eight is going to be the word must. Say the word must. Can you say the word must? Must. Must. All right, let's count how many sounds are in the word must. Mmm. Uh. St. Oh my goodness, there's four, four sounds. Mmm. Uh. St. Ready? Hard to draw four lines. Hmm. Ah. Uh, s. T. Mmm. Ah. Uh, s. T. What's the first sound in must? Mmm. What's the next sound in must? Mmm. Ah. Uh, there's a vowel up there. I see a vowel. Ah. Uh, then what? Mm, uh, s. Mm, uh, s. T. What is that word? Mm, uh, s. T. Those are sounds. Ready? Now we're going to write the word. Ready? Must. Mm, uh, s. T. Now I don't expect you to be writing the same time I am because I know that it's going to take you a little longer to write these words. But I would so love it if you take a picture of you writing the words when you're done and show me what a good job you did on writing your words. You're going to get so much better at it. The next word, number nine. Wait a minute, Mrs. Hoagland, you forgot to color the what? The U. U is a vowel. Okay. Are you ready? All right. The next word is went, went. Can you tell me somewhere that you went? Went. Tell somebody where you went. 
I went to the kitchen. I went outside with my puppy. All right, went. Let's sound it out. Wah, eh, mm, t. Went. Wah, eh, mm, t. Four sounds again. Wah, eh, mm, t. Now, let's see if we can figure out what those letters are. Wah, eh, mm, t. Did you get four? I got four. First sound. Wah, wah, wah. Is what? W. Then what? What went? What went? Eh? What? Eh? Mm. T. Went. Now, there's something that I didn't tell you on this one, and I probably should tell you this. That this is one of those words where that. We actually say went, w, i, n, t, which it sounds more like an I. Alert, 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 alert. Okay, it's not W, I, N, T. That's what it sounds like. W, I, w, i, n, t, went. But we spell it w, e, n, t, went. We're gonna put a little yellow circle around this one because this is what it sounds like up here, okay? That's what it sounds like. It sounds like that darn I, but it's not. What? Let's put it together. What word are we writing? Went. What? I. Oh, we don't want to do an I. We want to do an E here. What? A lot of times when we have a vowel right beside an N that vowel will change its sound. That N is kind of tricky, okay? Went. The next word that we're gonna do, you did really good on that word. The next word is going to be, number 10, is going to be the word just. Just, say the word just. I just want, finish my sentence, I just want to go out and play just, just, okay? How many sounds in the word just? J, a, st. How many sounds? J, a, st, just. Here we go, four sounds. J, a, st. Who says j, 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 j? It's not the letter G, it's the letter J says j, and notice how that j goes below the line. He goes down below, he hangs below. J, j, then what? Uh, who says uh, 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 up uh, with the umbrella? We just had it in that word must. J, uh, j, uh, I know. Put a dot and circle it. You got me. J, uh, then what? Just. J, a, uh, s, t, just, and a T. Okay, what is that word? J, a, uh, s, t. Now we're going to write them really close together, okay? Ready? Here's our word. J, a, uh, s, t, just. Guess what? Must and just rhyme. Must and just Rhyme, color the vowel, Mrs. Hoagland. Color the vowel, are you happy? I hope you're happy. I'm trying to remember. All right, if I cover up this word right here where you can't see it, and I have the word must up here, and I have the word just right here, what's the same? Is the M first letter the same? No, but looky here. The U, the S, and the T. Let's say this word, must. And this word, if it rhymes with must, it's got to have that ust part. Just. Good job. Must and just. And we're going to do just three more words. I know you can do it. This one is something that you're going to want to know how to spell. Number 11. Okay, number 11, 
we want to spell the word ask. Say ask. You want to write your mom a note or your dad a note to ask them a question. Ask. Sound it out for me. A -sk. Ask. How many sounds was that? A -sk. I heard three sounds. A -sk. Ask. What's the first sound in a -a 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 ask? You got it. It's an A. What? It's a vowel. Put a dot and circle it. A -s, -k. S, you're right. S -a -s -k. Well, it's not going to be a C. It's actually going to be a K. A -s -k. Ask me a question. Well, I won't be able to give you an answer, but you can still ask. Maybe you can write it on your paper. A -sk. Ask. Let's put it together. Ask. Oh, it sounds just like the word ask. All right. Color. I hear you. I hear you. Color the vowel, Mrs. Oakland. Okay. Ready? These are two words that you're gonna know. They're so easy and they're really, really tricky at the same time. These are really long words. Miss Hoagland's just teasing. They're gonna be the shortest word you ever encounter. How about the word I? What? The word I? I've heard of I as a letter, but I've never heard of it as a word. Yes, it is a word, I. How many sounds in I? I. How many sounds in I? I. Just one. Well, guess what? We only need one line. What is that letter that was in that word? You said it. I. I would like a piece of fruit. I. Do we need to blend it? Well, we can take it off that line. I. And now we can make it into a word. Here it's a sound because it's on a line. And here it's a word. What? You said it's a vowel? A, E, I, O, U, and Y if it's not at the beginning of the syllable. You're right. It is. You got me. It's a vowel. And what should I do to it? Should I color that one? We're doing these two to kind of prove a point here. Okay. I, I like to eat blueberries, blueberries. Okay, I. Very, very last word, I promise, last word. It's another really, really long word. I don't know if you can handle it. Here you go, we're gonna write the number 13. Okay, because for, for me, you'll be watching this on the 13th, hopefully, 13th. Okay, so we have 13 words today. All right, this next word is a really, really long word. Are you ready for it? This word is called A or A. Uh. A, can I have a bite of your pizza? You wouldn't let me have a bite of it, but you might let your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister have a bite, okay? A, how many sounds in the word A or A? Uh? A, what? Just one sound again. A or a, uh, you can say it either way, okay? One sound, well, what did we say, it? what letter was it? A or what? A, uh, we're gonna write just one letter. It's a what? It's a vowel, are you kidding me? It is a vowel and we have to circle it. And if I wanna write this word out here, I gotta get it off that line. Are you ready? I'm gonna write the word A or A. Uh. It says either one, okay? Now, I need to color this A. We're gonna look for some patterns here real quickly and you are gonna see them, I know you are. What do you notice about every word on this page? What do you notice about every word on this page? This word has a vowel, this word has a vowel, 
This word has a vowel. This word has a vowel. I is a vowel. And A is a vowel. Oh my gosh, every one of these words has at least one vowel. Let's see if that's right on this other page. Are you ready? Cover all those up. Okay, you ready? And has a vowel. With has one vowel. But, on, will, that, and up. Every word has to have at least one vowel. Yes, you are exactly right. That's one of our very first rules for learning how, how to read. Every word needs to have at least one vowel. All right, so if you can have mom take a picture of this real quick or somebody have a picture, write these words down. These are the words I want you to write for me. And with but on will that up must went Just ask. I'm going to put this one up here. I and A. There's our words one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, my friends, that's the end of our lesson today. I hope you had fun reading with Mrs. Hoagland. We just did 13 of our kindergarten sight words. These are all words that you can sound out if you want to, but we want you to know them right away. All right, love you lots. Remember, I'd love to see you write these words on a piece of paper and or watching my video, and I'd love to see you with the picture. Thank you. Send it to Mrs. Oglin. Have a great day, friends.